At the corner of Glendale Road and Route 450 sits a large tract of land which hasn't been used in more than three decades. You're probably wondering why. It's the former site of the Glendale Hospital. The hospital was built in the 1920s, and during that time, it housed tuberculosis patients. After the 20s, the hospital was converted into a sanatorium for the mentally ill. By 1981, the hospital was closed, and it's been dormant since then. What makes this site unique is that many people say it's haunted. We found a number of websites devoted to the strange occurrences at this abandoned site. Legend says that she was hiding somewhere in the hospital and got lost within the walls. They never found her. They never found her body. As you can imagine, it's a magnet for people looking for thrills, chills, destruction, and paranormal activity. We've had a number of incidences over the years of, of uh, trespassers on the site, and we've installed security cameras on the site. We have a park police trailer just behind uh, where we're speaking, where a 24-hour uh, surveillance takes place with security cameras and with a park policeman who lives on site. We take the security here very seriously. We're looking for a development team that shares the vision that the community uh, has for the property, one that has the financial capacity and the experience and expertise to make a continued care retirement community uh, a reality. Way's agency was engaged to assist the Parks and Recreation Department who needed his expertise. There are a number of restrictions on what you can do at the 60-acre site. The first phase is to qualify bidders' feasibility to make the necessary changes. It could include raising buildings or adding multi-use to the continuing care which is mandated as a part of the redevelopment. The National Capital Park and Planning Commission will sign off on the project. The first step in exciting the redevelopment community with, at Glendale is to change the perception of this property. This is a 60-acre property five miles from the District of Columbia's border. You don't find that every day. The community around the site is waiting for a change, and it can't come soon enough. In Glendale, Maryland, I'm Charles Robinson for Your Money and Business.